Hi and welcome to ISBI. You may know my cheap table saw. The saw is not the best, but okay. But the insert plate of my table saw is a shitty piece of scrap. It's just a thin piece of very soft plastic. It's very dangerous to cut thinner pieces because the insert plate bends down when I press the workpiece down with a push stick. Moreover, the slit between the insert plate and the saw blade is too big. So I made a new insert plate. In this video I show you how I did it. First I measure the original insert plate and cut a piece of phenolic board to the proper size. I use phenolic because of the construction of my table saw. There is just enough space for a thin insert plate and phenolic is hard and stiff even if it's thin. Then I use double sided tape to stick the two plates together. And I use a flush trim bit to copy the shape. I have to make grooves for some parts of the table saw. There are six supporting pieces around the opening and this aluminum plate is also at the same height. Here you can see all the grooves that I made. When the saw blade is all the way down, it still collides with the plate. So I have to make an additional groove. Next I drill a hole for my finger, which allows me to easily take the plate out. Then it was time to make the cut. I used the fence and an additional piece of wood to hold the plate down while I raise the spinning saw blade.
Here I make the cut for the riving knife in the same manner than before. I also raised the blade in a 45 degree angle. Because my table saw tilts on trunnions, I can use the same insert for every kind of angle cut. Then I make the parts which holds down the plate in the back. Use a piece of spring steel which I cut from a spatula. I first take some measurements of the table saw, make marks and cut two pieces of the spring steel. The first idea was to bring the pieces in the proper shape by bending them, but they broke. So I cut two new pieces and decide to use washers as a spacer instead of bending the pieces. I drill a hole in each spring steel piece. I mark the spots where the springs should be on the plate and drill them as well. I pre-sync with a bigger drill, so that the head of the pop rivet will be beneath the top surface later. Then I drill through with a smaller drill. Here you can see that I made a slight bend in the springs. This makes it easier to put the plate in place. Time to mount the springs to the plate.
Here I test if the plate fit properly. It does work. Here you can see that the slit in the new plate is shorter. I made that so the plate has more stability at the back. I also shortened the riving knife so they will fit in the new plate. It's so much better to mount the riving knife or change blades when I don't have to unscrew 6 screws. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click the notification bell and stay tuned for future projects. See ya!